Hello guys, welcome to my first update video on my current Unity project. If you've watched my most recent video about all the games I've made in the past 5 years using Unity, link in the description if you haven't, then you would know that I've made many games in Unity, but I've actually finished not that many. I am currently working on a project in Unity, and I want to make some update videos as I make progress. Now I'm not promising anything, but this may or may not encourage me to keep working on the project, but we'll see. So the project that I'm working on is a multiplayer game of some sorts. As I showed in my most recent video, I've actually made an unfinished multiplayer game before. I used UNet for the networking and basically learned how to use the UNet through Bracky's multiplayer series made about 4 years ago. Anyways, the problem is that Unity since then has depreciated UNet and is currently transitioning into a new networking solution. I'm not too familiar with it, but I didn't really want to depend on Unity for my networking solution. And so I couldn't really continue working on that multiplayer game because I couldn't find a good reliable networking solution that I wanted to use. But about a month ago, I stumbled upon a video by Tom Wyland that was about making dedicated server-based multiplayer in Unity. I decided to follow his tutorial series on this, and after the first six videos, I was pretty much set to make any game on my own from there. Surprisingly, his solution works well, and I would say is easier to work with than Unit. So to start off, I'm going to quickly explain the difference between the previous networking solution and the new Tom networking solution. In the previous UNet networking solution, one player was the host and would create a game. Then any other player would join the host as a client. Let's just use player movement as an example. For the host, whenever they moved, their position would be sent to the other clients. For the clients, whenever they moved, their position would be sent to the host, and then from the host to all other clients. This solution is good for quick room-based multiplayer games, where it is really easy for anyone to create a game and have their friends join on them. But there are some issues too. For example, if the player who is the host leaves the game, then all the other players would be disconnected. Tom's networking solution is a dedicated server-based solution. This means that a separate program runs which acts as the server. Then all the players connect to this dedicated server as clients. Using player movement as an example again, a client sends the server movement information, and then the server takes in that information and moves the player on the server. That player's position is then sent from the server to all clients. Since the server is a separate program, it can remain online for a long period of time, and players can come and go as they wish. So like I've said, over the past month or so, I've been slowly pretty much remaking my previous multiplayer game but using Tom's networking solution instead of Unity's unit. So let me show you what I've implemented so far. Currently, the game is basically a first person shooter. Right now, I just have this small map for testing. First person movement is all set up. I have this simple character I modeled in Blender, the character's animation system is working, as well as reloading animations for the guns. Speaking of guns, there are currently two guns, a single firing pistol and an automatic rifle. You can switch between them or you can just have empty hands. The shooting mechanic is working, along with a simple ammo and reloading system. A simple health system is also working. You can see some UI in the bottom right that shows your ammo and health. There are currently two pickups to regain your health and restock your ammo. Also, the guns make firing sounds as well as make bullet tracers when fired. I guess I should mention that I'm working on an account system as well. This way you can create an account and log in with that account. As you can see, your username appears above your player in-game. And this last feature is the chat system. You can send messages in the chat. Also death messages appear here when someone is killed. I think that's about it for the features that are currently implemented. Keep in mind I don't really know where this project is going yet, as I'm basically just implementing common features that mostly relate to first person shooter game right now. But when I decide what kind of game I want to make out of this, the features that I implement will become more specific to that game. Anyways, if you're interested in seeing where I go with this project, I hope to see you in my next update video. This is going to be awkward if there isn't another video. I don't give up on projects, I don't know what you're talking about. And again, if you're interested in the networking solution I'm using, the link to Tom's videos will be below the like button. Thanks for watching.